Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to build an app using Flutter provider. We'll use a provider for state management and this is what you'd be doing. So here I have this beautiful page here you can add stuff and uh, you also get notification like this. It's all happening because of state management. You can go to next page and you can see the data and you can reduce more. Then you can go to the previous page and you can add more again then go to the next page and try to reduce more this time okay and you will see you also get a notification like this okay so this is what we'd be building uh, using Flutter uh, provider which is used for state management okay well before we go ahead and um, start doing it uh, let's understand some basic concept okay and don't forget to download the code from the below in the video description okay all right so you will have all this ui for free anyway so let's understand some basic concept well so here first we have to understand some basic concept we'll start with change notifier over here now change notifier is a data holder class okay so we'll create a class and that class will extend the change notifier so that particular class it be holding our data like if you see XYZ things like that okay like counter app we see a lot of time so that kind of class would extend exchange notifier and it would hold our data okay all right then we'll also have a special keyword which is called consumer now consumer is the user so user means that it's going to use the data so this class is the data holder and consumer is going to use the data so that's why we call it more like a user now here then we'll have provider.off which is interaction which does interaction with the user which means it does interaction from UI to the user or from the user actually and it interacts with the data holder okay which is with this one so once again this would be our data holder and this would be the user of this data holder and then using this one we can interact with change notifier with this class okay now to be able to make it up and running at the entry point of our app we should use change notifier provider okay well, so this is the basic idea and after that now we'll go ahead and see and that we also need to make sure that we have the provider package now come over here in this pop spec.yml file and here make sure that you have provider now i'll be also using get for routing but you can skip that if you don't want to do routing using getx because over here we are just using provider to learn um our state management okay and once you are done with this you should be good to go so the app looks like this if we go ahead and run it uh, well we can go to next page we can go to previous page and uh, things like that okay all right so once again i'll run it so here we are and we don't have any error now as i said early that we need uh we need to change notifier which is more like a data holder so first we'll go ahead and work with the change notifier we'll have a class where it uh, extends change notifier and so that class would be our data holder okay this would be our data holder class and this class would extend uh, uh, change notifier like as we said early okay now as i said it is a data holder class so we need to declare some data in that case we'll declare a variable which is x and this is the value that we'll manipulate every time we click uh, on this plus button or this minus button okay all right so now we'll also create a property to get it so here we do x because we want to access this value from ui now here we'll create a method and we'll call it increment x and here we we'll do x x plus plus and over here we'll use notify listener notify listener need in your class which extends change notifier so this is more like set state if you use the 
original uh, Flutter state management function, which is called set state. Okay, so or it's more like the update function in getx. Okay, or set state. So hopefully it makes sense. So they are similar. All right. So with this, when x value is changed, we'll be able to know it. Okay. Great. So this is the first step. We we are done with this. So yeah. next we'll see how to create a consumer and consumer would be our user and this would use the data that's in the data holder or the class that is extends change notifier okay well to be able to use this in our UI all we need to do we need to come over here you can find the UI where you want to consume this data once again consume means use this data and show the result so over here, I do have a section where it says total, and this is the one where I want to consume the data. So I would use the keyword, which is called consumer, and uh, consumer takes a type, it's a provider type or data holder type. In our, in our case, it is data class, okay? All right, and then, it takes a parameter which is called builder and builder takes an anonymous function and which takes uh, three uh, parameters the first one is context second one is an object of this class so we'll call it data class and then we'll use uh, another property which is called child so this three and after that you need to return okay return the widget that is being consumed okay see so we need to remove this one const over here okay all right so now this consumer will consume this widget so over here we need to access the data to be able to use it right okay because if we can access uh this x value then we'd be able to consume it so we need to access it but just now we created this one data class so we can use this data class to access the data but now for this one first we would use dollar sign and then this curly braces and then this one and then x okay so with this we are able to consume the data which data x so to to be able to consume you need to wrap your widget using consumer and that's all okay so that's what uh, here we are consuming okay well next we'll see how to use this provider dot off to do interaction okay all right so we want to interact on this button okay so I'll collapse this and the button is here okay now inside this uh, I do have uh, another button which is called gesture detector which is this add this one okay now over here inside this gesture detector I do have this on tap function okay so on on the click of this button i want to interact so this one first i would do here provider dot off now here once again it takes the provider type or data holder type in our case it's a data class okay and then it takes a context and then it takes another property which is called listen in general it is default true we need to set it to false and after that here you can uh, call the method from your data holder so we have a method which is called increment x okay all right okay well for now i'll uh, comment this out so next I'll go ahead and do the entry point where I have to use this change notifier provider for our entry point. Let's go ahead and do it. Well, to do that, we have to come to our main.dart class and over here, this is the entry point of our class. So over here, we'll wrap it around change notifier provider. Okay, so I will cut this one. Now here I will do change notifier provider. Okay, and it takes a parameter which is called create inside create you need to pass a context and this is the global context that is used for provider okay and then you need to send your data holder class in our case it is data class that means that whatever happens in this class will be able to access that using the context so that's what it says and then you need to use a child okay now we'll use child and then we'll use the one we had early by the way here i'm using get material app for routing if you don't want to use get material app just remove get and go ahead with material app 
so it doesn't conflict with provider package okay all right so with this we are done okay now we'll go ahead and restart our app and we'll see if we have error or not so it looks like everything is okay no problem now over here I want to click on this one and we see that it changes okay now it changes because we are on home page now on home page uh, let's see why it's changing so over here we do have this consumer and consumer is getting data from data holder class and using this one we are interacting with our data holder class which is this one over here so once we call this method from here okay so the value of x gets changed and if it does then consumer over here consumer over here is able to consume it okay so that's how it works so that's as simple as this so now we know how change notifier consumer provider dot off and change notifier provider works we'd be able to go ahead and scale our app well, to be able to do that I will come over here and I will copy this one and I will create another method and I'll call it decrement okay so in this case instead of plus plus we do minus now so before we go ahead and scale our app let's take a look now here we have this value too I can increase it more and I can go to next page but on next page I don't see the value previous page I still have the value but on next page we don't have it now next page is our second page over here we are not consuming the value okay because on second page we are not doing anything that's related to provider now over here we do have this detail and text over here so over here we need to wrap this around consumer so once again whatever happens here would be able to consume it okay so I'll, so here I'll use the consumer widget so here I would do consumer and then data class then it takes a builder and builder takes three parameters context and an object of our data class and a child now after that we'll return okay return the text and we need to remove the const keyword now over here let's see so this is the same place where we want to make a change so here we do this one uh, data class dot x okay now let's save it and uh, let's see what's happening over here uh, we need to return okay now we see the value is here immediately uh, well now of course uh, we can go back now we see the value we increase we go to next page and we see the value again okay so the value is being persisted why because we are consuming the value from here okay this x value great now on page second we also want to be interactive so as I said for being interactive you need to use provider dot off so here we have this button which is gesture detector and over here we have this method so over here we we'll do provider dot off now here data class and then we'll pass the context and listen false okay and then we we'll go ahead and call the method which is decrement x now after that I will save it now here you will see that I can decrease it okay now for now we can ignore this message okay okay let's go ahead and decrease it now we can go to previous page and we see this is minus four okay go to next page we'll see minus one so our state is being persistent and it's working perfect okay now here speaking of uh, this provider dot off there is another way to do it so if you don't want to use a provider dot off you can use it using context so we do context dot read okay now over here you need to provide the data class so in our case it's uh, this one I mean type of the provider and after that you can just call decrement okay it would work the same so if you don't want provider dot off you can use context dot read okay now let's save it you decrease it and it works you go to previous page it works as well do remember in previous page we have provider dot off okay great now we also want to do some conditional check on this okay 
So we'll only increase and decrease if we meet certain conditions. So this is where we'll also go and do it. So now over here, uh, for this one, I'll cut this one, okay? And then I'll do a conditional check first. So here I'll do if, okay? Now we'll get the value x, okay? We are on home page. If value is uh, less than or greater than five, then we do this one, okay? We can increment it. Otherwise, we'll show this message over here, okay? So I'll cut this one, and over here we do else, okay? All right, now I'll uncomment it. So what will happen over here, if the value is equal or less than five, we can go ahead and increment. Otherwise, we would say a message that you cannot do it, and that's what basically you do in a shopping cart, right? Anyway, so I'll go ahead and save it. Okay, now this is in our home page. So I'll go to, uh, well, over here, yes, uh, we need to increase it because we are in home page. Now let's go ahead and check. So four, five. Okay, yes. So while it is working, we need to work on this condition a little bit. Okay, all right. Now we'll go to the next page. Okay, now over here, we do the same. And next page, so, so next page, instead of using provider of, we'd use context.read, okay? So I'll cut this one and I'll do if, if context.off, but we want to get the x property. we we'll do x is greater than zero then you can go ahead and decrement. Otherwise, you will show this one, okay? And now I will uncomment it. Okay, now let's restart our app. Uh, okay, oops, we might have that we need this one. Okay, all right. So we can increase, go ahead and do this. Now we can't do it more than five. We can go to next page, okay? Now let's go ahead and decrease. You can't decrease it. So you can you need to go to previous page, increase, go to next page, you can decrease, okay? So that's how it works, okay? Now regarding context.read or whether you're going to use provider.off, well, that's a debate, but as long uh, as it works and you don't have any bug, I think we are pretty good at the beginning, okay? All right, so hopefully you learned something and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you so much.